Alright, before I get into the actual impressions of the game, let me first get it out of my system. This game is incredibly acclaimed. More like Crito My or Crito High. It's highly critical we should review this game. The numbers are reaching critical mass. Ed, stop already! Nobody's interested in your puns! They sure are! You aren't interested in your puns! I hear you cry yourself to sleep with them every night! But mom! Shut up and go clean the kitchen! Critical Online is the newest big thing, not really, when it comes to MMORPG genre. It's an instant-based MMO sporting fast-paced combat and tons of features already present in every Asian MMO ever. Stylized as fuck combat? Check. Gender lock classes? Check. Shiny UI? Check. Can't look good without paying? Check. Girls with critical boobs? Check. Grind? Check. Unbalanced PvP? Check. Did I mention tits? Cause there are a lot of tits! RNG based everything? Check. Bring to Lord Jesusetta to succeed at plus 12 in your gear? Holy shit, check! Save for combat, there's very little to like or enjoy about Critical Line. It has all the bad staples of the Asian MMOs and it does very little to improve on the overall front. If I could give it a comparison, it's basically Vindictus with more of a stylized art style and button based combos rather than, you know, click based ones. Although I am enjoying it quite much, it's mainly because I've been craving a game with a sword combat that has mid and ranged abilities which Doomblade practically perfectly filled up. If you're not looking for anything new and just want more of the same, Critica Online is for you. Else, eh, you can check it out I guess. One saving grace though is that it is being published by NMAS Entertainment here in the West and they aren't half bad as far as the publishers go here. Even if you ask me though, I can't tell you whether it's pay to win or not as I've literally not even opened the cash shop in about 5 to 10 hours on my play so far. The game also has PvP, which is a lot like Blade and Souls in the sense that it's imperative you stun lock your opponent, then run away and wait for your cooldowns to pop back up. It's extremely frustrating once you get stun locked by a class whose abilities all pretty much tend to stun lock, and you only have one free me please card every 30 seconds. It is not per se fun, as it is more of a I wonder when I have a spare mouse somewhere in the house. I'd show you the footage, but I got absolutely raped in every single one of my PvP matches so far, as I clearly can't play my class for shit. Another point is that, at least at my level, matches last for far too fucking long. Even if I literally just stood there and let the other dude fuck me dead, it'd take at least 5 or more minutes for the match to end. Damage values literally don't exceed 25 at 30 to 40 levels, and when I once fought against some mage dude that was level 55 or something, he crit me for like 60 damage maximum. On the other hand, I'm spanking mobs with crits in dozens of thousands, but hey, whatever the fuck floats the boat, am I right? I reached level 45 or so, so far, and it's not a bad game by any means, but it's just another instance based Asian MMO, just with more stylized graphics. I'll still continue playing and see where it leads me to, but if you're one of those who expect more from MMOs at this point, first stop taking drugs, and second, Critical Online has nothing but bad critical puns to offer. This has been Man of Man Reviews, being all Critical Online. Oh, for God's sake!